Hi everybody, this is Lonnie. Today we're going to do a multi-dimensional or layered cut. If you're looking straight down on it, you really can't tell. But this has got different layers on it. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. I want to show you the easiest way that you can do it. Um, basically you're making several cutouts. That one stacked together. Make a dimensional image. Also makes it easier to paint. You can do like a green layer, or brown layer, red layer, whatever. Um, but today, for this project, we're going to use a 20 watt laser. For engraving, we're going to go 60 power, 150 speed, 1 pass, 200 line density. For cutting, 100, 7, 1, and we're using 3 millimeter basswood to do it. Um, this is what I came up with. You may want to change it up for your liking, but that's what you did. And I'll walk you step by step through on how to do this. First thing we're going to do is a background piece. Uh, that's real simple. You just get into the machine and cut your size. And from that you'll do this ring here. We'll get in there and we'll do it. And I'll show you how to do it. Alright, the first thing that we're going to do is on our We Create Make Screen, we're going to click on Circle, then we're going to draw a circle, and then we're going to put in our what dimensions we want it to be. On this particular one, I want that to be 6 inches. So I come up here in the scale, I type in 6 width, 6 height, and that will give me a circle that is 6 by 6. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to come over here to Circle, I'm going to come, click on it bring it back, draw another circle, and then I'm going to determine what the inside size circle is going to be. So I'm going to go um, 5.5 by 5.5, and that gives me my inner side. Bring it over and center them up. Um, now I set both of them to cut at those specifications that I gave. 100, 7, 1. I'm going to turn enhanced cutting on. And that both of them are set to that. If you drag it across, you'll see a line show up. And that shows that. It's at the center, keep going. And when another one shows up like a target, you're there. The other way that you can do it is select both of them, do a line, center horizontally, a line, center vertically, and that'll give you that. Okay? To, to cut the background one, highlight the inside one and do ignore for processing. So now that just gives you the outside circle, autofocus, start, and cut that. Once that's cut, when you come back to the screen, you disconnect the ignore for processing, autofocus, start, and that'll give you the insta, that ring. Once you get both of those um, done, select all of them group it and then um, ignore for processing set it off to the side so you have in case you need for something else but you're done with it for now the next thing you want to do is you're going to call up whatever graphic you want to want to use um, this is just a regular JPEG nothing fancy uh, and then you need to edit on it so I'm going to with the image clicked on hit edit image and I'll come over here with my magic paintbrush and I'm going to click on it and it's going to take away all the background and if you want you can come in and take out the other stuff here really not a big issue but
All right, so it's all done. We hit confirm. And here it is with the background and everything taken out. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go up here to offset. Click on it. And distance of offset. I go 0 0.5. Do whatever you like, but try to keep it the same on all of them. We hit confirm. And then I'm going to, with that selected, hit cut. Do my 107 or 107. Enhance on one pass. Depending on your wood, you may have to go two passes, but I'm going to go with one. Okay, so there's everything. What you want to do is, with them both selected, you're going to hit group. Okay, so now it stays together. Come over here to your circle and drag your image inside the circle and then resize it. And when you resize it, make it so it gets really close to the edge. Jagger with the mouse, but if it gets to where you need to fine tune it, you can use keyboard arrows. And it's pretty darn good there. Okay, so we're going to cut that out. Like the, the, the circles are set to ignore for processing, they're just a guide for your size. Again, once again, once you've got to where you are, you set it off the side. You go ahead and print this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so so far we've got the background, we got the circle ring, and we got the main background. It should all fit together like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building it up. Um, we can do that by doing the following. Okay, so this one's cut and it's going to go right on top of that one. And we're going to go back and we're going to change it and do another cut. Okay, just like we did before, we're going to copy, paste. Take the previous one, ignore for processing, group it, set it off the side. So here's the one we just made. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the cutout. We've got this part here. We're going to go in. We're going to edit the image. Again with the big paintbrush. And this time we're taking out the trees. Oops. Okay, so with the trees gone, we're going to do like we did before. Confirm. You got that selected. 
And see how it stayed big there? That means I missed something. So we'll go back into edit image. small size. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and do offset. Once again, I'm going to get 0, 0, 0.5. 0, 0, 0.5. Confirm. Make that a cut. 107. Enhanced cutting. Alright, we've got that. We're going to go ahead and cut that. And while we're at it, we're going to um, do this one more time. Copy, paste, no processing on those other ones. Group. That's fine. So now we've got this one here. We're going to edit again. And on this one, we are going to do just the fire. Offset again zero point zero five. Confirm, make it cut by the one hundred seven one with air on. And with that, like that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print that one. And if you've got a program that um, imports, exports, converts programs, and you have an SVG file that has um, various portions to it, say this one here, I could take and click on individual letters, little individual elements, and take them off. Uh, like I said, if you have this, it makes editing it real easy, but most people get JPEGs, and that's why I showed you the other way to do it. 